Hello everyone and welcome back to High Mathematics. In this video we can solve this interesting exponential equation. We have 2 to the x plus 4 to the x equal to 8. And on the first side this equation is easy one because we can on the first side find uh, our root with, with inspection right here because we have 2 for 8. It's really good. It's really good number but it's not how it is. We need to simplify this a little bit because on the first side for example 1, 2 and 3 this these roots are not good for us. 1, 2 and 3 is not good so we need to find it. So let's write this 2 to the x as 2 to the x right here so as you can see 2 to the x this 4 is really good to write as 2 square but to the power x and of course we know that 8 in the same case is <coughs> it's a really good number because we can write it as 2 cube 2 cube to the power x so this is our our beginning so we just express this using using 2 2 right here 2 to the x 2 square and 2 cube so let's go next. We need to know a really good rule, because if we have a to the power x, for example, raised to the power y, we need to write it as a to the power x times y. So we just multiply our, our powers. So right here we'll add it the same, 2 to the x. And right here on the right, right hand side we will have plus 2 to the power 2x equal to 2 to the power 3x. So I hope you, I hope you understand this step. Moreover, we can easily write this 2 to the power 3x on the left hand side and then on the right hand side we will have 0 which is good for us. So 2 to the x plus 2 to the power 2x and minus 2 to the power 3x equal to, equal to 0. And right now as you can see we have 2 to the x right here 2 to the x 2 times right here 2 to the x 3 times so we can easily factor out 1 2 to the x. And in parentheses right here we'll have 1 1 plus right here only 2 to the x and minus 2 to the power 2x equal to 0. So we hope you understand this step. We just factor 1 t 1 2 to the x from here. And right now as you can see we have 2 to the x, 2 to the x, 2 to the 2x. So it's really good to write a substitution. So let 2 to the x will be equal to for example t. What equation we will have? We will have a really good equation. We will have t times 1 plus t and minus t square which is equal to 0 and we can real quick look at this t because we easily can we can easily write that t equal to 0 because we have a product of two parentheses but t equal to 2 to the x and we will have 2 to the x equal to 0 which is not good for us because right here we don't have, we cannot have any any zero so it's not good for us we reject reject this reject this case. So we only need to work with this with this equation which is equal to 0. So let's work with this. We will have 1 plus t and minus t square equal to 0. Let's change an order a little bit. Let's write at first minus t square. So minus t square plus t and plus 1 or the last step we need to multiply it by minus 1 and we will have our final quadratic equation. So t square minus t and minus 1 equal to equal to 0. So let's work with this with this equation. So this is our t first as you can see. So right here we will have t second and third. Let's solve this. So a equal to, I write right here real quick, a equal to 1, b equal to minus 1 and c equal to minus 1. So t second and third, what will have minus b? So 1 plus minus square root b square 1 minus 4 times a times 1 and times c minus 1. c minus 1. And of course dividing it by 2a which is equal to 2. So if we simplify this a little bit we will have 1 plus minus square root of 5 and over over 2. But take closely because right here we will have two roots. With one is positive 1 t2 equal to 1 plus square root of 5 over 2 and on the right hand side we will have a negative 1 t, t3 equal to 1 minus square root of 5 over 2. And as you can see right here we reject 0 but moreover we need to reject negative root right here because this one is less than 0 so we need to reject this root because as a result we will have 2 to the power x equal to 1 minus square root of 5 over 2 and when this is less than 0 we cannot write it because for example we will have 
2 to the power x equal to minus 1. It can be real, so this one we, we reject this, reject this root. So let's go next. Let's solve this one. We'll have 2 to the x equal to 1 plus square root of 5 over 2. So taking log from both of the sides. So from here we're taking log and from here we taking log. And of course this x jump right here and we will have x equal to log 1 plus square root of 5 over 2 with base of with base of 2. And this is our this is our solution. So I hope you understand this explanation. If you don't understand, write your question in a comment, write your suggestion in a comment. As you can see, we don't have any natural root because on the first side we have 2, 4 and 8, which is a really good number. So on the first side, 1 is good for us, but with 1 we will have 2 plus 4 equal to 8, which is not correct. As you can see, we have a little bit complicated root. So I hope you understand this explanation. If you don't understand, write your question in a comment, write your suggestion in a comment. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next videos.